Chapter 3 Quran What is the Quran? The Holy Quran is a sacred book. It is the speech of God that was sent down to all mankind for the sole purpose of guiding them to the straight path of acknowledging God's oneness and dedicating their acts of worship exclusively to Him. Verily this Qur'an guides to that which is most just and right and gives glad tidings to the believers who work deeds of righteousness that they shall have a great reward in paradise. The Qur'an, chapter 17, verse 9 God revealed the Qur'an to Prophet Muhammad through the angel Gabriel, peace be upon him, in stages as circumstances warranted over a period of 23 years. Throughout its 114 chapters, surahs, are discussed issues of belief, the proof of God's existence, and the Day of Judgment and Resurrection. The Qur'an also contains many scientific facts, stories of the Prophets, and information on issues of law, society, and governance. All the Prophets, including the Prophet Muhammad, have preached the same message that came in all of these sacred books concerning the oneness of God. نزل عليك الكتاب بالحق مصدقا لما بين يديه وأنزل التوراة والإنجيل من قبل هدى للناس وأنزل الفرقان إن الذين كفروا بآيات الله لهم عذاب شديد والله عزيز ذو انتقام. It is he who has sent down the book, the Quran, to you, O Muhammad, with truth, confirming what came before it. And he sent down the Torah and the Gospel aforetime as a guidance to mankind. And he sent down this Qur'an as the criterion of judgment between right and wrong. Truly those who disbelieve in the revealed verses of Allah, for them there is a severe torment, and Allah is almighty, all able of retribution. The Qur'an, chapter 3, verses 3 and 4. Authenticity of the Qur'an what makes the Qur'an unique, authentic, and purely divine? 1. The Qur'an has been preserved in its original Arabic script since its initial revelation through the angel Gabriel, peace be upon him, to the Prophet Muhammad, and thereby preserving the original message of monotheism as revealed throughout the previously lost or distorted scriptures. The Qur'an was instantly memorized by Prophet Muhammad and then memorized and written down by his companions. Furthermore, the Prophet reviewed all the chapters of the Qur'an yearly with the angel Gabriel, peace be upon him. In the final year of his life, he reviewed them twice. Not a single word has been altered or changed, added or deleted, since the compilation of its revelation. The Qur'an has been translated into many languages for the benefit of those who do not speak Arabic. In almost all of these translations can be found the original, unchanged Arabic text alongside its translation. The miracle of the preservation of the Qur'an is evident since the time of its revelation over 1,400 years ago until today, amongst the huge number of Arabic-speaking and non-Arabic-speaking Muslims who have memorized the book word for word in its entirety. Even young children from the age of four have memorized the entire Qur'an in perfect detail. <laughs> indeed, it is we who have sent down the message, the Qur'an, and indeed we will guard it from corruption. The Qur'an, chapter 15, verse 9. 
2. God challenged anyone since the revelation of the Qur'an to produce a single chapter, surah, that would have all its perfect attributes. Even the disbelieving Arabs who were well known at that time for their superior oratory and poetry were unable to meet the challenge. Consequently, they accused the words of the Qur'an to be of magical origin. Not, verily, he has been opposing our signs, will cover him with severe torment. Verily, he thought and plotted, so let him be cursed how he plotted. And once more, let him be cursed how he plotted. Then he thought, then he frowned, and he looked in a bad-tempered way. Then he turned back and was proud. Then he said, This is nothing but magic of old. The Qur'an, chapter 74, verses 16 to 24 Until today no one has been able to reproduce the likeness of a single chapter of the Qur'an, even though there are some chapters that consist of only five or even three sentences such as chapter 102 or chapter 103. <laughs> And if you, disbelievers, are in doubt concerning that Qur'an which we have sent down, that is, the Qur'an, to our slave Muhammad, then produce a surah of the like thereof, and call your witnesses and supporters besides Allah if you are truthful. But if you do it not, and you can never do it, then fear the hellfire whose fuel is men and stones, prepared for the disbelievers. The Qur'an, chapter 2, verses 23 and 24. وَمَا كَانَ هَذَا الْقُرْآنُ أَنْ يُفْتَرَى مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ وَلَكِنْ تَصْدِيقَ الَّذِي بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ وَتَفْصِيلَ الْكِتَابِ ولكن تصديق الذي بين يديه وتفصيل الكتاب لا ريب فيه من رب العالمين أم يقولون افتراه قل فأتوا بسورة مثله وادعوا من استطعتم من دون الله إن كنتم صادقين. And this Quran is not such as could ever be produced by other than Allah, but it is confirmation of the revelation which was before it, the Torah and the Gospel and a full explanation of the book, Laws Decreed for Mankind, wherein there is no doubt from the Lord of the Worlds. Or do they say, He, Muhammad, has forged it? Say, Bring then a surah like unto it, and call upon whomsoever you can besides Allah to assist you, if you are truthful. The Qur'an, chapter 10, verses 37 and 38. 3. 
The Quran holds within its text verses that indicate and prove to the reader that they are the words of God. The verses explain many facts that were recently discovered by modern scientists through the use of advanced technology and equipment such as microscopes, satellites and computers, while the Quran on the other hand revealed them more than 1,400 years ago. These facts could only have been known by God the Creator. They could not have been generated by any human, including the Prophet Muhammad, who was illiterate throughout his entire life. Here are just a few examples of the many facts mentioned in the Quran. The delicate process of creation and growth of the human embryo inside the mother's womb. And indeed, we created man, Adam, out of an extract of clay. Thereafter, we made him the offspring of Adam as a nutfa that is, mixed drops of male and female sexual discharge, in a safe lodging, that is, the female womb. Then we made the nutfa into a clot of thick coagulated blood. Then we made the clot into a little lump of flesh. Then we made, out of that little lump of flesh, bones. Then we clothed the bones with flesh. And then we brought it forth as another creation. So blessed is Allah! the best of creators. The Qur'an, chapter 23, verses 12 to 14. What is mentioned in the Qur'an of human embryonic development was affirmed to be a miraculous fact by the emeritus professor Keith L. Moore, who is a prominent scientist in the fields of anatomy and embryology. On statements in the Qur'an about human development, he said, It is clear to me that these statements must have come to Muhammad from God because almost all of this knowledge was not discovered until many centuries later. This proves to me that Muhammad must have been a messenger of God. 7th Medical Conference, Dammam, Saudi Arabia Another example is the marvellous description of the creation of the clouds, how they are driven and pushed by the wind, then gathered and joined forming a larger cloud, then stacked together to bring down, by the will of Allah, rain that is essential to all life on earth. And to Allah belongs the sovereignty of the heavens and the earth, and to Allah is the return of all. See you not that Allah drives the clouds gently, then joins them together, then makes them into a heap of layers, and you can see the rain comes forth from between them, and he sends down from the sky hail like mountains, or there are in the heaven mountains of hail from where he sends down hail, and strikes therewith whom he wills, 
and averts it from whom he wills. The vivid flash of its clouds, lightning, nearly blinds the sight. The Quran, chapter 24, verses 42 and 43. Such descriptive information about the creation of the clouds was only discovered by meteorologists with advanced equipment used such as satellites. See the Atmosphere by Anthis and others, also Elements of Meteorology by Miller and Thompson. These are small examples of what the Qur'an holds within its text that indicates its divinity and authenticity that could only come from the Creator himself. ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين. This is the book, the Quran, whereof there is no doubt a guidance to those who are pious. The Quran, chapter 2, verse 2. تنزيل الكتاب لا ريب فيه من رب العالمين. أم يقولون افتراه بل هو الحق من ربك لتنذر قوما ما أتاهم من نذير من قبلك لعلهم يهتدون. The revelation of the book, this Quran in which there is no doubt, is from the Lord of the Worlds. Or say they, He, Muhammad, has fabricated it. Nay, it is the truth from your Lord, so that you may warn a people to whom no warner has come before you, O Muhammad, in order that they may be guided. The Quran, chapter 32, verses 2 and 3. Why accept the Quran? Firstly, and most importantly, the Quran is the word of God. Secondly, it is a divine scripture which, since its revelation until today, remains unaltered and preserved in its original text and format. Thirdly, its authenticity assures us of its original divine source. Fourthly, the message came with a simple theology, which is to worship God and God alone, and to establish a personal connection between man and God, with no one obstructing in between. وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِ إِذَا دَعَانِ فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُوا لِي وَلْيُؤْمِنُوا بِي لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْشُدُونَ And when my slaves ask you, O Muhammad, concerning me, then tell them that I am indeed near to their call. I respond to the invocations of the supplicant when he calls on me without any mediator or intercessor. So let them obey me and believe in me, so that they may be led aright. The Quran, chapter 2, verse 186. Finally, looking at all the religions on earth, we find that, of the three major religions with three books, that is, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, only Islam and its book, the Quran, affirms the essential truth of the previous two religions and books. Assuming that all three books are true and unaltered, surely it makes more sense to consult the latest, most current, accurate, and comprehensive version of the three. Imagine you have an old computer that could not keep up with the new programs and upgrades, and you decide to buy a newer computer with better functions and higher capabilities. Such a computer would be sophisticated and much harder to operate. Would you then use your old computer manual or your newer one in order to run your new computer? Of course, the newer manual would be used to run your new computer. The same should be applied to the Qur'an, the latest manual and most current guide for human life that represents the most relevant of divine scripture sent to earth by God to guide man in running his daily activities and to guide him in the latter part of human history. Who else knows better about his creation and their problems other than God? 
وَيَوْمَ نَبْعَثُ فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ شَهِيدًا عَلَيْهِمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِهِمْ وَجِئْنَا بِكَ شَهِيدًا عَلَى هَؤُلَاءِ وَنَزَّلْنَا عَلَيْكَ الْكِتَابَ تِبْيَانًا لِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ وَهُدًى وَرَحْمَةً وَبُشْرَى لِلْمُسْلِمِينَ And remember the day when we shall raise up from every nation a witness against them from amongst themselves, and we shall bring you, O Muhammad, as a witness against these. And we have sent down to you the book, the Qur'an, as an exposition of everything, a guidance, a mercy, and glad tidings for those who have submitted themselves to Allah as Muslims. The Qur'an, chapter 16, verse 89. وأنزلنا إليك الكتاب بالحق مصدقا لما بين يديه من الكتاب ومهيمنا عليه فاحكم بينهم بما أنزل الله ولا تتبع أهواءهم عن And we have revealed to you, O Muhammad, the book, the Qur'an, in truth, confirming that which preceded it of the scripture and as a criterion over it. So judge between them by what Allah has revealed and do not follow their inclinations away from what has come to you of the truth. To each of you we prescribed a low and am method. Had Allah willed, he would have made you one nation, united in religion. But he intended to test you in what he has given you. So race to all that is good. To Allah is your return altogether and he will then inform you concerning that over which you used to differ. The Qur'an, chapter 5, verse 48, verse 48, verse 48.